and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about polarity. Now, this is perhaps the most amazing and the simplest function available in text blob. So blob polarity simply returns a polarity score in the range of negative and this is you know we're typing messes up i may reformat that negative one to one negative one is depressing like everything's going wrong and one is you know pharrell's song because i'm happy i'm alone if you feel so where we are is blob.polarity this is going to tell us on a score from minus one to one, how happy or sad this book is. And this is kind of exciting. It's Alexander the Great. And we can have a look at some other books too. But this will be interesting. F5. Oh, we need to print blob, blob, blob polarity. Print. Point two, so it's it's kind of more happy than than sad. Now, let's get to the good stuff. So for s in blob dot sentences, doo -doo -doo, we can if s dot polarity is greater than 0 0.8 print s so if it's like particularly happy we're gonna print it and then we're gonna try the particularly sad one so let's try this out alexander was characterized by these qualities as a very in a very remarkable degree huh okay that's, uh, I was expect. oh, because we have very few sentences. That's why all of this was really fast. Okay, so let's try doing that for the whole book. This will, okay, cool. Alexander made very magnificent preparations for celebration. See magnificent celebrations. Very gorgeous descriptions are given of the plump and magnificent, gorgeous. Pomp, magnificence, commenced. All right, these altars were born to person persons appointed for the purpose were clothed in magnificent. See, magnificent like really helps to the score. Consternation. I'm not sure. I think consternation isn't that positive. So there you go. These are generally all pretty happy. Magnificent pavilion supported by iconic uh, columns profusely ornamented both within and without with purple and gold. So those are the happy sentences. Let's try the, you know, shocking ones. F5. Okay. Thus Thebes was made a ruin and a desolation it remains so a monument of alexander's terrible energy and decision for 20 years a terrible and protracted struggle ensued but the coolness courage and strength of alexander's army carried the day there we go no one could see magnificence but it will not be of any avail against terrible energy of the greeks they probably could not have averted destruction see it really really does work i mean every single sentence i look at really indicate something particularly negative here so we can now like switch books and run it this is like the really bad ones in the book one whatever book one is may the devil carry away these idiots okay it hidden doorways to rumbling horrible shoulders against doors drawing them up so this particular book right here is Ooh, barely a little bit positive. So, Monsieur de Farge, the hour has come, Saint Antoine, to execute the horrible idea of hoisting men for lamps to show what he could and do. The fingers of the knitting women were vicious with experience that they could tear. Okay. 
Um, he always remembered with fear and trembling the terrible woman knitted when he talked with her and had looked ominously at him as her fingers moved. There we go. These are kind of... They're all negative. Let, let's see. Greater than 0.8. So some of these are really, really short. Like, that's a wonderful corner for echoes. It has been remarked that the corner where the doctor lived. Good, said the sleeper, rising his elbow. Good. So when the word good repeats twice, there you go. We are high polarity. Good. Magnificent. Extermination. Hmm. The hungry man repeated in a rapturous croak, magnificent, and began knowing another finger okay so there you go these are the happy sentences um when we actually get around to analyzing these books i'll be really curious what book this is all of them are classics but i don't actually remember all their names the previous one with the ranking we've seen that it was clearly about alexander the great okay so there you go that is polarity it literally kind of gives you a, a, a single variable idea of the mood of the text. Um, the only thing that I'm curious about, I think it's a double type blob.polarity. And new type basis dictionary. I'm pretty sure it's a, it's either a float or a double. It's a float. Cool. Alright, I shall see you guys in the next tutorial where we look at subjectivity.